American Motors introduces the Gremlin. Hey, George! What is that? The Gremlin? Oh, move over! It's smaller than any other car made in America, which makes it easier to park and handle. In this video, I'm gonna redesign the AMC Gremlin into something that could be built today using parts from a bunch of different modern American cars. More on that a little later in the video. Quick announcement before we jump in to the redesign. So I put together this free ebook called 10 Essentials for Every Designer. And in it, you'll learn how to get your first job as a designer, best practices on approaching corporations and studios as a newly graduated student, and my favorite tools and art supplies that won't cost you a fortune you can download this ebook in the description below or go to the sketchacademy.com so let's jump in to the redesign now let me give you a little bit of a uh, background to the amc gremlin so when amc launched the gremlin back in 1970 on April Fool's Day, they weren't doing so great by introducing the gremlin amc was hoping to beat ford and gm in the relatively new subcompact category but amc needed to save both time and money so what the design team decided to do was to essentially take an amc hornet and then just chop its tail off the gremlin is priced with the imports and it gets better gas mileage than any other car made in america this resulted in one of the most interesting proportions ever given to a car with its long hood and overhang intact in the front, but a very abrupt ending in the rear. One interesting design feature of the Gremlin is that it doesn't have a lid for its trunk. So the base Gremlins came without a back seat and luggage had to come in through the doors. Can you imagine that in a modern car? It would be nuts. However, it was cheap. One of the ads for the Gremlin said, if you can afford a car, you can afford two Gremlins. And in today's money, it cost around $12,000. And it came equipped with luxuries such as an AM, FM radio, fabric sunroof, tilting steering wheel, inside hood release, and front disc brakes, which aimed to give customers a more pleasant driving experience. However, it wasn't really that great to drive. And it just could be more fun to drive than any other car made in America. It was also relatively quick for the time. Buyers could choose between two inline six engines. The base had a 135 horsepower with the option to upgrade to a 150 horsepower inline six. Zero to 60 miles per hour was completed in under 12 seconds, which I said was pretty fast for the time, and it could reach a top speed of around 100 miles per hour. You could also get your Gremlin with proper bucket seats in the interior. Despite its looks, which I personally think looks very cool today, the Gremlin X had great success with sales and a total of 670,000 Gremlins were made over one generation. Some of the com competition of the time were the beautiful Chevrolet Vega, which had a more coupe-like styling and way better proportions, obviously. And the Ford Pinto was also one of the competitors here of the time. It also competed with imports such as the cool 1970s Toyota Corolla and the classic Volkswagen Beetle. The Gremlin would be superseded by a more traditional looking car called the AMC Spirit. So looking at the redesign and what is going on here for the wheels for example i wanted to keep a very classic uh time correct styling for the wheels but make them a little bigger i love the red outline that we have on the tires here as well on the on the sidewalls for the front end i actually took a i think this was a 2010 Dodge Challenger front end and applied it and replaced the chrome bumper. I also deleted the rear bumper because chrome doesn't really feel like it's um, suitable for today's time. But at the same time, I wanted to keep the proportions of this thing and have the same kind of styling features. For example, the chamfer that goes underneath, starting at the back of the greenhouse and then creating the shoulder line. I want to emphasize that a little more. And for the front end lights, I started with a Honda E front end, but I think that looked a little too tame. So I decided to go with the Bronco headlights and add some grill texture in between these headlights to make it uh, a proper 
car or redesign that is built up, built up by American Cars Only. I think the redesign turned out really cool and this is something that I would like to see someone do, a company, you know, I want to see AMC come back because they had some really unique designs of the 70s and we don't really see designs like the crazy designs like this in today's world but I think I think that's probably going to change as I've said before we have the EV era now in full uh, spring and that means that we have a, pla a platform of batteries or a skateboard of batteries and on top of that you can build whatever you want and I think there is a market for unique weird proportions <laughs> like the old gremlin in new EV cars Spe specifically when we see Hyundai coming out with um, these Envision concepts that takes a lot of inspiration from the 70s and just modernize it and put it into a new modern shell with an EV platform I think I'll, more car companies should do that take their classic iconic cars from back in the day from the 60s 70s and 80s and modernize them maybe not all of them have to be EVs but it would be a lot easier to build a, uh, a shell on an EV platform because I think that would have a, a place in the marketplace because uh, pe uh, people who were young back then and had these cars uh, when they were teenagers and so on they are they are now grown up and they probably have more money than they had back then but they still have this nostalgic feeling for their old cars so building new cars uh, building old designs based on new EV, EV platforms I think that would be a great idea for a lot of car companies the design feature I talked about before where we don't have an open uh, opening in the rear you do have one version of the Gremlin actually had it wasn't the base model but if you stepped it up I think it was $80 extra at the time to get an uh, opening for the rear window so you could actually put some luggage through the rear window but I wouldn't mind you know opening the door and just throwing in a couple of bags in the in the in the back seat because the base as I said didn't even have a back seat so you had a lot of trunk space you just didn't have an opening for it in the rear end which is pretty interesting and it was a that, that was a whole purpose of the gremlin was to create a very cheap hatchback which is why they took the hornet platform and basically just took the same platform and just chopped off the rear end which created these interesting proportions very fun redesign to do i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next video take care